Hello, welcome back. How are you doing? Um, this video is gonna be a little bit of a different one, a little bit of a themed one, and I am so excited for it because I've been in a garbage, garbage mood for <laughs> a few days now. And so this reading vlog is gonna be all about reading some manga, hopefully just some really light, uplifting romance, slice of life, maybe some adventure, maybe some fantasy manga. So if you at any point have any recommendations, please lord above leave them down below because like I really don't know, I really don't know where to start. So we have a weird assortment and variety of manga series that I'm going to be reading and starting in this video. I just bought a few and a few of them are in. So I think I will take you to go see which ones we're going to start. Um, I already finished one before this reading vlog started off. So I think that's good because it kind of gives me like a starting point and we can talk about that one too. So let's go see. Okay. Okay, come on. All right. So yeah, we really do go from Sigmund to Sailor Moon range. Okay, so this is the little collection so far. I'm missing a few because I took a few out right now, but let's just go through them. All right, so I thought I'd give a little, little background because I really have not read any manga in my life. The first one I ever read was Your Name. Oh, so good, so good. It was the best place to start. That's one of my favorite movies as well. And then the only other mangas I've read in my life is Tokyo Ghoul Volume 1 and Sailor Moon Volume 1. Sailor oh. Perfect. Sailor Moon is just like, I have the biggest soft spot for <laughs> this anime, this manga, this story, this universe. It's been such a big part of my childhood, but like I said, I've only read volume one. So um, I thought we could go through the rest of these because like I said, I did make some orders. Um, I know I could probably find these online, but I do like owning them. Um, it is a little bit expensive, I think, but no less expensive than like, you know, buying a, a book. So anyway, the um, first one that I finished for this little challenge, this um, themed reading vlog that I wanted to start, I finished this yesterday or a couple days ago. This is An Incurable Case of Love, Volume 1 by Maki and Joji. All right, the sun came out, but anyway. Um, yes, yeah, so this is the first one, An Incurable Case of Love. I recently found out this is a drama as well, but anyway. Um, I've gotten a lot of these recommendations just from random places. Some of them were from friends and stuff like that. So in this one, we follow- oh, come back here. In this one, we follow a nurse and her whole reason for becoming a nurse was because five years ago, she fell in love with this doctor named Dr. Tendo and she became a nurse so that she get placed- she could get placed at the same hospital where he works. But when she shows up, finally, he doesn't remember her. His reputation is just one. Um, a very mean person. He's very harsh, very severe. He is nicknamed the Dark Lord because he's just so rude and mean. Um, I honestly wasn't sure, like, I don't know. I think I would maybe give this like three or three and a half stars just because I didn't think the romance, at least in the first volume, was completely what I wanted. I think honestly, he was like a little bit too mean. So yeah, but one thing I can say that was pretty good about this, I really enjoyed how much attention it portrayed and how much um, time it spent to her journey, to Sakura's journey of being a nurse and all of the trauma that she goes through and all of the really big mental health struggles that being a nurse and caring for people um, can bring about. So like that was really, really good. Overall, I don't know if I want to continue on with the series. So I think what I'm going to do is order volume two and then just see if it gets any better because this one did end on like kind of a cliffhanger moment, as I'm sure they always will, but um, I think I'm just gonna try one more from the series and then we'll see. Like I said, I also have read Sailor Moon Volume 1 and I do have Volume 2 here. I ordered this ages ago, so I think we might be reading Sailor Moon Volume 2. So that's gonna go on like the TBR for this 
challenge. Okay, so because I finished An Incurable Case of Love, I did pick up this one. I just started it. I just finished up chapter one, and that is Midnight Secretary with the story and arts by Tomu Omi. So this one was a recommendation from a friend. Um, so I thought that this one was about like a secretary. It is about a secretary who goes to work for the son who is his father's like the manager of this very important company very well off company but what i didn't know and when i read the back i found out that he is a vampire so there is a little bit more than i was you know bargaining for going on in this book but as of right now i'm 50 pages through so this is the one that we're going to be reading together first i've heard it's extremely spicy Let's add a little bit of spice and we're just gonna see how it goes. So far it's just been honestly a bit of a laugh and very funny because this dude is just a vampire and now like she's his secretary and they're just working in an office late at night. That's why it's called like midnight secretary because he works late into the night because he's a vampire, not because he's a hard worker. Um, anyway so that's that one and then i have two more series here that i really want to start these are both volume one again the first one is komi can't communicate but tomohito oda i really want to get into this one this one is supposedly very sweet very wholesome this one is about komi who has a communication disorder and so it's very hard for her in social situations and so she makes friends i think with this boy from her high school everyone thinks she's super cool super aloof because she doesn't talk to anyone but she just has a lot of anxiety so, and then the last one I found here, I also got this on recommendation from a whole bunch of YouTube videos that mentioned it. This is Kitchen Princess, Volume 1, Manga by Natsumi Ando, and the story by Miyuki Kobayashi. So I'm really looking forward to this one. This one's quite the long one, but I love when books talk about food. And there's artwork about food and manga about food and stuff like that and so kitchen princess looks like it's going to be absolutely perfect because in this one we are following our protagonist and her dream her mission in life is to hunt down and find this boy who years ago made her the perfect flan the perfect flan Ugh. um but she never found out his name and all he left was a silver spoon in his wake so now she's on a mission to like cook her way or bake her way into finding him anyway so i'm very excited <laughs> for all these definitely a little bit of a hefty one but i'm assuming this vlog is going to encapsulate probably a couple weeks or something like that so i think what we're going to do is just keep going with midnight secretary and then i honestly might start kitchen princess is kind of what i'm feeling right now so let's do it <laughs> All right, so I don't think I got too much footage of me reading Midnight Secretary Volume 1, but I've now finished it and I think I've decided to give it three stars. Um, so, so far for this manga vlog, I finished An Incurable Case of Love as well as Midnight Secretary. I think, I don't know what I enjoyed more because Midnight Secretary was very absurdly funny in parts because I think I already said what this is about but we're following this 22 year old woman and she is now the secretary and the reason why it's called Midnight Secretary is because her boss is a vampire thus she has to work odd hours at all times of the night because that's usually when he's in the office honestly not too much happened in here and there was a few parts that I was just Kind of not feeling at all but i think overall it was just honestly another fun easy kind of strangely comforting read and as well like i said it made me laugh um because it was just so funny like what he couldn't do and the way that tomu only kind of framed his vampire i guess story and his abilities and his weaknesses and stuff like that was really really funny to me but uh anyway we've got our second one done and i think it's time for us to pick the next one i'm leaning towards sailor moon but um i also did get in another copy so all right so this came oh that's the back <laughs> this came in the mail yesterday i got volume two of an incurable case for love so i don't know if i want to like continue on with it straight away or what um just because i don't know if i'm feeling another hospital setting at the moment honestly but um i'm definitely in the mood to just read lighter happier things and then i don't know if i showed you but this also came in this is by the same 
author as well. I think she actually has a whole bunch of series out. Um, Happy Marriage by Mackie and Joji. I also saw this one recommended on different um, YouTube manga recommendations. I believe this one is about a couple. I think it's an arranged marriage or she agrees to marry him to help her father's business or something, but um, I don't know if I want to start this one right now. I'm kind of feeling, like I said, I'm feeling like starting Sailor Moon um, Volume 2, which I already have out. I read the first couple pages of it. I'm either feeling Sailor Moon or Kitchen Princess because um, I feel like I'm always recording these clips for this specific secret reading vlog when I'm not like feeling the best or just not doing my best um, in terms of like either feeling down or feeling a little bit anxious or something like that because these are definitely like just fun comfort reads that are very distracting and take you out of the world I guess and stuff like that so I think I'm gonna pick up Sailor Moon. I think that's gonna be our next one for this reading vlog. How volume one ended um i'm gonna try to keep this like kind of spoiler free but sailor moon is just a pretty like action-packed adventure like there's not that much really to spoil i vaguely remember volume one ending with like um sailor moon confronting a bad guy at a ball or gala or something and then i think she passes out um because then this one opens with her waking up in tuxedo masks room so i forgot how much i love tuxedo mask he's just so pretty update i am four pages in and serotonin has been achieved um and we're also getting tuxedo masks backstory which is really exciting but also i really hate the trope that like if someone puts like half a mask on or like a two inch face covering on their face suddenly no one is able to tell who they are or who their alter ego is i just hate it i just hate it so much it's an unforgivable sin but it's okay it's fine it's fine queen metallia is not looking good she looks like she needs her morning coffee Okay, sorry, I, I think I'm bombarding you with updates already, but one of my favorite things when like it comes to villains and village and origin stories and stuff like that, or just like the bad force in um, like a novel or a story some or something is when like the villains have like stacked priorities and then they don't like get along, like there's not just some weird hierarchy that someone is like more powerful and badder than the other, but like when they kind of fight and like they're technically on the same side and they kind of want the same thing but each may harbor like plans against the other and it just makes it so much more interesting when like the villains are also villains to each other and then yeah i don't know there's just like already some good stacking of like villain villainery in here i don't know <laughs> Alright, little check-in and update on the manga vlog. Hello. Um, I'm still only reading Sailor Moon Volume 2. It is so good. It is just so good. And honestly, like the art style in Sailor Moon is, I know I haven't read too much manga, hence the point of this whole vlog, but um, the art style is actually like the best I've ever seen out of the stuff I've read, but of course I haven't read very much. So, um, but it's honestly just so gorgeous. And like, I really feel like they took their time um, and it's just so beautiful, like the detail. And I'm just absolutely obsessed with this. I was reading this last night and I should have filmed it because I just kept like gasping out loud. And it just makes you feel 
all of the serotonin like all the feelings you feel so crinkly inside um and like a box of chocolates and goodness and clouds and cotton candy this book feels like cotton candy to me it just feels so fluffy and pink and luscious and starry and bespeckled with light um which sailor moon i guess to an extent is all about but we're actually learning so much about the characters backstories and i'm not going to spoil anything if you haven't read the first one i don't think i even explained what sailor moon is about basically we we're following this 14 year old girl named usagi and she is definitely just your average <laughs> um pretty ditzy and just really lovable girl who goes to school but then she finds out that she is Sailor Moon and she must protect the earth from evil forces that are invading it but the second volume just like really really goes and explains everything that's happening and now we have the whole gang together Sailor Venus has joined the crew as well and like it's just honestly so good I was just like gasping out loud over things that were happening last night plus tuxedo mask tuxedo mask if you are out there I have a phone number I'm not gonna say what it is but I have a phone number. <laughs> so this is just like honestly so good. I'm honestly having the time of my life. Um, it's gonna be five stars. I also love that my nails match this cover. Yes, look at that. Ooh, I'm 143 pages through. I just stepped into act 10 and I just really don't want this to be over. I do have volume three on my shelf, but um, I did, I do have like a mini manga haul for you tonight as well. I just don't have a bad thing in my bones to say about Sailor Moon Volume 2 or just Sailor Moon in general. Like it's so funny, it's so lovable, and it just honestly makes me so happy. Like this has been the highlight of my week and it's amazing. And I'm just getting so much nostalgia and love out of it. Like I am obsessed. It is an obsession and it's just so good. It's so good. Okay, so I got a couple. I think I said that I was going to pick up An Incurable Case of Love, Volume 2, just to continue with it, like another volume, before deciding if I actually wanted to continue on with this series or not. I just really hope there's a lot more development and a lot more going on in this one. Not that there wasn't in the first one because it was mostly like Sakura getting settled at the hospital and then finding what department she wanted to go to and of course introducing Dr. Tendo and stuff like that. We might continue with this one in the next manga vlog because let me know if you'd like more of these or if there's a different kind of specific reading vlog you would like me to do as well. Manga is a bit easier for me to read quicker because it's easier on my post concussion symptoms and stuff um because it's not a lot of heavy reading it's just nice images mostly so this one is happy marriage volume one um i also saw this recommended by a few booktubers i believe i don't have the best idea of what this is about we're following chiwa takanashi and in order to help her father she agrees to an arranged marriage i think like between their two companies or something or her father's business yeah um he is like the company present president of like maybe a rival company anyway she doesn't know him at all and his name is hokotu but she doesn't like know him and they just get married like right off the bat to fulfill um you know her father's wishes and his father's wishes she apparently doesn't think that the marriage is binding or anything like that she's just like yeah i married you we're just gonna go live our separate lives now it was just purely out of convenience's sake but he does not think so um and then can can two strangers living together find their way to a happy marriage I guess we'll find out. The next one we will definitely finish though is Sailor Moon Volume 2 and then I will have to hold myself back or maybe not from reading Volume 3 right away. So. So I finally finished off three volumes in a manga, so I thought I'd come and talk to you about them, close out the vlog, and then kind of ask for recommendations of what you think I should read in the next one. So I did actually finish Sailor Moon Volume 2. This was exquisite. This was like going to uh, heaven for the time that I was in it. This was just incredible. Um, this was definitely my favorite out of the three that I got to read uh, during this vlog. It was just so good. I honestly don't know if I will ever find anything to top this. This is my favorite art style. I think it's the most detailed. I think it's the most beautiful. I feel like there's just so much effort in it and it's just really funny. 
Um, it pulls at my heartstrings. It's so nostalgic and I just love it. I love it so, so much. So thankfully I do have volume three on my shelves and I would love to pick it up because so much happened in this one. Um, and I'm not gonna spoil, sp spill, <laughs> spoil anything, but this was definitely my favorite. And then the other two that I finished off were An Incurable Case for Love Volume 1 and Midnight Secretary Volume 1. So I did start two new manga series. I have ordered the second one of Incurable Case, but um, like I said, I don't know if I want to continue on with Midnight Secretary just because it was just, I don't know, like it was fine, but I think I'm more interested to see where the hospital drama one goes just because that's like a bit more entertaining whereas this one just felt a little bit flat it didn't have any um or it didn't have a lot of like subplot material or anything like that and it just felt a little bit too linear but sailor moon was definitely the saving grace of this vlog so um those are the three that i finished if you'd like to see more specific reading vlogs or more manga reading vlogs please let me know and as well feel free to comment down below any series you'd like me to start any ones you think i should check out or anything like that but i did really have fun getting these three read they were just it was just fun to get back into manga and i've really been having a good time with it so um yeah that is that one thank you so much for watching and um i guess i will see you next time around when i complete a few more so until then ciao